Hello everyone and thank you for joining us for another episode of DCW Universe Mode following an incredible episode last week with The Undertaker coming face to face with his next challenger, The Fiend, Bray Wyatt. That was an incredible way to go off the air last week, but I am excited to see what we have in store for this matchup. Coming up at the top of the show, The Undertaker, the DCW World Champion, goes one-on-one -on -one with Oni Lorcan. But the question lies, what is The Undertaker's mindset now seeing his next challenger, the fiend Bray Wyatt, making his presence known here in DCW? It's going to be interesting to see how these two fare against each other. The match has been made official for our next pay-per-view event, which does not have a name yet, but it will take place on episode number 42. I cannot wait to see those two go one-on-one -on -one for the DCW World Championship. Also here tonight, we have the Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish against the New Days, Xavier Woods and Big E Langston or Big E, depending on which uh, version you like. And then we have Rosemary's proposal to Candice LeRae. But opening us up here, The Undertaker going right after Oni Lorcan. Maybe a little bit furious after last week's title defense against Lars Sullivan. Oh my god. Lars Sullivan apparently out with action. Apparently The Undertaker, while putting Lars Sullivan in the Hell's Gate submission hold, did mo massive damage to Lars Sullivan's throat. So Lars Sullivan is out of action for a little while. We have no timetable of his return. But you know Lars Sullivan is going to want to go after The Undertaker again once he's 100%. Actually, if you kind of look look at him with your eyes squinted, Oni Lorcan does kind of look like uh, a smaller version of Lars Sullivan. But still a lot of brutality Oni Lorcan is able to dish out to his opponents. But definitely not here tonight. Definitely not against a man with as much anger inside of him as The Undertaker. I don't think Oni Lorcan has really gotten any kind of offense in this match. Oh, never mind. Spoke too soon. Knee to the head of The Undertaker. Now Lorcan grabbing The Undertaker by the hair. You think that's a smart move? Oh, no it is not. The Undertaker nor nearly launching Lorcan out to the floor. Oh, and The Undertaker back in control of the matchup. And I, I mean, I give credit to Oni Lorcan for signing his name on the contract for this matchup, but I think it may leave him a little bit worse for wear. A last ride by The Undertaker. Oh, and Oni Lorcan kicked out. But, I mean, was that smart? Was that really smart? Because now you're out of the, what do they call it? Out of the frying pan and into the pot or something like that? Kicked out of the last ride? But I don't think you're kicking out of this. A massive tombstone, a leaping tombstone, and The Undertaker with a victory here tonight at the start of DCW. Following on from his title victory last week against Lars Sullivan, face to face with The Fiend, but The Undertaker looks to be still focused on being a dominant force here in DCW with moves like that, the height on that last ride, and yet still somehow, some way, Oni Lorcan kicked out, but he did not kick out of that leaping tombstone. That one looked like it had a little bit extra ferocity behind it. Almost like a message being sent to the fiend Bray Wyatt. And the Undertaker, with a newfound focus here in DCW, after toppling the freak, he now goes one-on-one -on -one with the fiend Bray Wyatt. On episode number 42, mark your calendars. Make sure you have the notification bell turned on. We are on a huge collision course. What the heck is that? Black Sheep. 
Does does that mean next week we're going to see the Undertaker go one on one with with Braun Strowman? We we haven't seen Braun since he lost to the Fiend at Backlash. That I'm I'm very interested to see what happens next week. Uh, we're going to move on here to our tag team matchup. This is the Undisputed Era versus the New Day. This is sort of a a number one contenders matchup. The winners of this matchup will go on to challenge for the DCW tag team titles. Uh, the Undisputed Era in recent weeks, ever since losing the tag team titles, they've kind of run rough shot over the rest of DCW. We saw the Undisputed Era have taken out the Hardy Boys, though the Hardy Boys seem to be kind of back at full strength, but they are now definitely broken. And then we saw Adam Cole cost Johnny Gargano a shot at the DCW World Heavyweight Championship on another episode of DCW. Ooh. But now the mission of the Undisputed Era is clear. Get back the tag team titles and then gain gain custody of the DCW World Heavyweight Championship. They want to be draped in gold here in DCW. But it all starts with the tag team titles and definitely a matchup that a lot of people would say is a dream matchup. The Undisputed Era versus The New Day. No Kofi Kingston out here at ringside. No Adam Cole at ringside. We want this to be a fair tag team matchup. And so far, The Undisputed Era seem to have control of the matchup, taking advantage of, I guess, the distractions. Or taking advantage, I guess, of the aggression of The Undisputed Era. Oh, Kyle O'Reilly knocking Big E down off the apron. I mean, normally, the New Day, they're all about having fun, all about the power of positivity and all that jazz and all that stuff, but you got to be a little bit aggressive here tonight, like the Undisputed Era are, targeting limbs, targeting body parts, just being much more aggressive with every move that they hit. And here we go, quick pin by Kyle O'Reilly, still not enough to put away Xavier Woods. I mean, obviously. Not going to put somebody away with just a simple back suplex, but it is going to do a lot of damage. And now Woods trying to take advantage of the matchup. Oop. Bobby Fish able to trip him up on the middle rope. And now Undisputed Era back in control of the matchup. Jeez, this is kind of a situation of Bobby Fish and O'Reilly really put down Xavier Woods. Big E hasn't even gotten the tag in on this match. You wonder how smart it was to have Xavier Woods start off this matchup instead of having the bigger one, uh, Big E, start things off here against Bobby Fish or Kyle O'Reilly. Oh, and Woods with a massive forearm. Oh, but O'Reilly! O'Reilly from behind with a cheap shot. Come on. And now look at this. Oh, going after the knee of Xavier Woods. And Fish knocks but Big E off the apron. And now Undisputed Air back in control again, and now Fish putting on a submission hold right on the bad leg of his Xavier Woods. Looking for the submission victory. The winners of this matchup will go on to challenge for the DCW Tag Team titles against Gallows and Anderson. Oh, Xavier Woods missed with a kick. Imagine all the pressure on that leg now from Xavier Woods. Biggie again knocked off the apron, still not able to mount any sort of offense here in this matchup are the New Day. Oh, I might have spoken too soon. Xavier Woods countering. Oh, missed with a clothesline. Bobby Fish. Oh, big kick from Fish. And now here we go into the cover by Fish. Oh, and Big E just barely able to break up that pin. But Bobby Fish still has the advantage in this matchup. Undisputed Era could be on the verge to... Wait, what? Uh-oh. Oh, no. We got to get a camera backstage. Apparently, Johnny Gargano has found the... The dressing room of Undisputed Era. Yep, there it is. Johnny Gargano getting his hands on Adam Cole. After Adam Cole cost Gargano a shot at the World Championship. And Bobby Fish keeping an eye on the screen. Xavier Woods is getting back to his feet meanwhile. Gargano laying out Adam Cole with that chair shot. And O'Reilly is nowhere to be seen. Bobby Fish is all on his own. Xavier Woods makes the tag to Big E. Oh, and off the top. Reversal of the Midnight Hour. Normally it's Big E who holds up the opponent. This time all the weight of Big E crashing down on Fish. And it leads to the victory for the New Day. Provided the distraction by Johnny Gargano. And the New Day are now going on to challenge for the tag team titles following that big move, the Midnight Hour. So Gargano gets a measure of revenge here tonight against Adam Cole. And he gets a little extra bit of revenge by costing the Undisputed Era a shot at the tag team titles. 
Congratulations to Xavier Woods and Big E of the New Day. I am excited for this tag team title match. Gallows and Anderson of Bauer Club versus the New Day. That is going to be very excellent. But coming up here at the end of our show it is Rosemary apparently providing uh, what she calls a proposal to Candice LeRae after Candice LeRae made her presence known in the title picture on last week's episode, saving Asuka from an attack by Rosemary. Let's see what the Demon Assassin has to say to the Dynamite Pixie Candice LeRae. Uh, it's been a very interesting time here having Rosemary as the DCW Women's Champion. We've had quite a few challengers try and step up and defeat her, but one way or another, Rosemary just comes out ahead as the DCW Women's Champion. But we saw f something that I never thought I would see in the eyes of Rosemary, and that was fear. And that was when Candice LeRae made her presence known on last week's episode. But I'm very interested to hear, what is this What is this entire proposal from the DCW Women's Champion? Let's, let's listen in and let's see what she has to say. Oh, and here she comes, the fan favorite, the dynamite pixie Candice LeRae, making her return on last week's episode, saving Asuka, and coming out with a brand new look. I, I, I like the look. I like the purple hair. It looks very nice. But Rosemary, seemingly not a fan to see the presence of Candice LeRae back here in DCW. Remember, Candice LeRae returned to DCW saying that she's on the hunt to try and get back her friend, Nikki Cross, following their exorcism matchup. And apparently Rosemary, the only woman who can do it, denied Candice LeRae that chance. Which is the startings of this uh, interwoven rivalry. Well, let's hear what Candice LeRae's response is to this proposal from Rosemary, which we, we still haven't heard yet. Oh, oh my god, the poison mist! The poison mist from Rosemary! Candice LeRae never saw it coming. Candice LeRae just accepted a matchup, a monster's ball match against all oh, Rosemary! And then Candice LeRae planted with the Red Wedding. <laughs> this is going to be incredible. Rosemary mentioned that they are going to dance on the dark side. I think that's a good name for the pay-per-view, DCW Dark Side. Candice LeRae versus Rosemary for the DCW Women's Championship in a Monsters Ball match. I cannot wait. <laughs> 